Believe it or not, Halloween is just four weekends away, which means it's time for some scary good fun. And of course, chocolate. One new show is combining it all by leaving lights on at a famous amusement after the door closes to guests, but the park will not be empty. It's all for chocolate meltdown, Hershey's After Dark, hosted by Sonny Anderson. Take a look. Three fearless pastry chefs will brave, oh my God, death defying rides. <laughs> Work at breakneck speeds and race through the park and against the clock to create spectacular, colorful chocolate and candy showpieces before the night is through. The host of the show, Sonny Anderson, is with us this morning. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Jason, how are you? <laughs> good, good. You are known for having fun on Food Network shows, but this is taking it to a whole nother level. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh... Who would ever think that a theme park would open up its doors overnight? Uh, no one's there but us. The contestants, myself, the judges, Ralph Atanasia and Manit Chowan, you know, are from Chops. And we just literally put the contestants through the ringer. We had them ride rides to find their uh, clues and their candies that they're going to work with. This is all shot at Hershey Park. So tons of candy to work with and chocolates to work with. And then we go back to the huge store that they have there at the amusement park called Chocolate World. And that's where we challenge each of the contestants to make some gargantuan, amazing, eye-popping uh, design out of candy, chocolate, and more. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, well, what these contestants <laughs> are, are making uh, is simply amazing. How much time goes into it? And do you think that you could uh, do what they're doing? Uh, you know, first of all, let me j just handle that second question. Uh, no, I could not do what they're doing, okay? Um, but we shot this completely overnight in Hershey Park. Some of the challenges took a few hours. Um, some just took a couple of hours. Uh, but this is just really concentrated work by the contestant, and we allowed them to bring on, like, a sous chef to help them out. And sometimes in the middle of them designing and creating, we gave them a completely different challenge. So to call it, you know, chocolate meltdown, Hershey she's after dark is pretty specific. There are some meltdowns. <laughs> well, <clears throat> do you enjoy the Halloween season and the scares that go along with it? I do. I don't know if you can see my man Bill back here hanging out with me. <laughs> he hangs out with me 24-7, 365. Um, I love the candy. Uh, where I live right now on Rescue Mountain, we never get any trick-or-treaters. Uh, because it's like scary to get up our route, but there are all these cool pumpkin rides and hay rides around here. And they do that at Hershey Park as well. So I, I'm actually looking forward to going back uh, because as we were taping there, I didn't get a lot of things done that I want to like a chocolate facial uh, and chocolate on every single meal, chocolate nachos. I just want chocolate everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a couple of things that we have to clear up here. We're going to give you the final say, the ruling. Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese cups? Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Who says Reese cups? But thank Come you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> And finally, well, I will say, I used to live in Detroit, Jason. I don't know if you know that. I used to live in Detroit. So it would always confuse me when you say L A H S E R, Lasher, instead of Losser. But, uh, you know, that's how we do in Detroit, right? That's I mean. how we do it in the D. You're, you're right. And real quick, candy corn, yay or nay? Nay, uh uh, no. I don't get it. I don't understand it. If you eat candy corn, I question your palate. It's so gross. <laughs> Sonny, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Shout out to Bushman and all Detroit. I miss you guys. Chocolate Meltdown, Hershey's After Dark premieres tonight on the Food Network.